And the advantage of going from the place we came from is we don't have as much cold to deal with. Which, oh, we could also have a sneaky peek in there. I don't know if I can get out of here. Doesn't seem that I can rise from there. I might have to um, eat the used to kill me pills. that are you gonna show me the way dude we kind of shows you the way by teleporting you out of there that's interesting you used the wrong one again pants well there was that guy there right I went to the spirit me and I think he teleported me out of there Which I feel is his plan. Maybe he's the... You don't have to take the... Um, um, the death pill. Which is no longer actually a death pill. Yeah, he's just doing a lap down there as if to say, come see me when you fall in and I'll I'll stop you from falling in. Um, I don't know why, but I watched it anyway. But I don't know why... You, I, I do know why I watched it. I don't know why YouTube suggested it for me, but I watched it. Which is probably why YouTube suggested it, because they knew I would watch it. But I don't know how it came to that conclusion. Anyway, um, it was about a, um, a soft lock uh, anti-softlock Easter egg in one of the levels of Portal 2. Um, and it's a true soft lock, not uh, something that someone in chat would call a soft lock, which isn't one. Uh, and Glados intervenes uh, and gives you some dialogue about it. That was interesting. I thought, yeah, that's clever. So I think I was wanting to go from there and go across. 
since I'm pretty sure that looks like a bus. So we won't be able to break through there yet. Uh, there might be a path down there. And maybe it just link, links up with that. So that could be a, a thing to go looking for. The other option is to come north from the previous one and like go across the railway and along the road to see if we can get through there. I think I'm already here and I'd have to go to the thing. Let's just go from here. Let's go south. Oh, that's not very nice. We want to go south anyway, so maybe we, maybe we listen to that and obey and go this way instead. actually get do I want to get this timber maybe I needed timber for something and I didn't have enough I think it was the hunting rifle so we farm some and then I went maybe I should look out for more of these but since then I haven't needed it so unfortunately it's kind of the feel for some of the things, like, oh, I've got a, a need. I just realized that the, it sort of it makes the player sort of, do I want to farm a lot so when I get to the situation where I need something, I won't have to farm. But as of course, that all potentially has the greatest um, uh, time cost of unnecessarily farming stuff. But it does give you the opportunity to go, you know what, I don't really have much time to push story or do something. Why don't I just farm for 20 minutes before I have to go to work? In which case then you can be prepared for when you might have a longer play session. It's really good design, but it can be frustrating at times if you're playing less like a regular person and more like someone who plays video games far too much. It's, it's probably probably feels less frustrating for people that have more constraints on their time. There's a turret there. Stupid turret. Yeah, I, I mean, I really like that, but... Because it does put the choice on uh, under the play of do I want to just spend some time and pre-farm up lots of stuff so that I can just push through? Or do I want to wait till I get some and then have to go out and feel like I'm being forced to target farm something? That's, that's the one I notice more. If I'm target farming a particular item because you just want to get that because it's what's holding you up and it's inefficient because it means you don't grab a lot of other things. Whereas yeah, if you're just sort of chilling and destroying everything you end up with a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so I wasn't sure down here if this was going to be wall because the it's act, it's under the dividing line. Turns out it is wall. Um, so maybe we do have to come up from the train line. And I was lucky I got a stun on him because um. He wasn't stunned by the grenade. He wasn't damaged by the grenade. I should just heal up while I'm here. Well, sorry, I just realized I may have connected something. 
Oh, we've got one of these. Cool. Um, there's been a couple points at the pipes where there's been that gas coming out of. Which means potentially whatever did this is being pumped around the whole island. Whether the whether they just, I mean, there's been some gas leaks in other spots or those gas clouds in other spots, so maybe it could have just been coincidental that it was around a pipe uh, staircase. It's blocked. That's not. So maybe it's not being pumped around the island. Although they had pumped it into. Okay, are these pipes for? Um, these things with the speakers, the tower defense, like the bunkers. Um, right. And they did gas out one of them, which could explain why there's some gas coming out of some of the other ones. Or some of the pipe areas. Could be completely coincidental. Um, if I hack it first, I get a CPU. Nice. But also I can hit that just to see the paths. Oh, he's stuck. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, so this area... It looks like there's... Oh, let's get rid of this guy. Oh, there's that turret that was giving me... Making me have to go the long way around before. Yeah, this is the TD minigame. Which I was actually wondering... Um, if this is something I want to try and improvise on myself. There is... There is a game Vulcan was playing it when it came out. Um, I think it has a multiplayer option and a, a seasonal component. Um, it had like... Um, Viking-ish mythology type larger enemies. You had to go around harvesting wood, crafting and fighting those as they came around to the... Um, like your central location and you could either go around as a group and I can't remember if, uh, I think he was playing solo though but you can have up to like four to six I think something like that um, it was the only other one I could think of um, where it's sort of like a not an RTS like you played it with the, the isometric view but it was um, had sort of tower defense vibes but you had, you'd take your hero through. Um, and I think it had sort of RTS type... Well, maybe there weren't... May, maybe you didn't... Com but there was NPCs in there that fought with you, I think. If you place them. It was set in a wintry land. But I think the waves came through. I don't know if it was waves or you just had a, a certain big thing come through. And I think when you beat it, you had the you had to choose a, um, an upgrade from a list of upgrades. Like you get standard, get three choices, pick one. Um, I was thinking, I wonder if you do that with something like this where... You have to start by getting, by collecting the materials. So, it, like, yeah, you've got to gather the resources instead of just being like in balloons where you just get given gold. 
um, for killing balloons. Like you start with the mountain, then you just get given it for completing the waves and, and doing it. You have to actually go get your own. You know, you might be a little bit further away from your base into uh, an area that's resource rich. But, you know, can the defenses you've set up get you there? Or do you spend the time to come back to do stuff knowing you'll have to run back out again? I just want to check that. I'm pretty sure the path is along here and along this side. Um, which means if if, I, if we're putting up turrets, we will want them to um, be able to hit both paths at certain points. And I'll certainly want to be able to run through if I'm attacking. Check how much material I need to put the turrets up as well. There's plenty of stuff here if we need extra things though. We'll probably get a mana shard from doing this as well, I think. Upgrades that I haven't learned um, is like a sandbag wall. And I'm curious to see how that works because would do you put those up? Um, to hold back these these guys that come through so then you can just wail on them from the opposite side. Path not super clearly defined. I mean, clearly away from the bricks. I guess the bricks just the divider. So if I put anything down on the bricks, it's probably safe. Expeditions versus Vikings. I don't think that was it. wasn't too long ago this year, like maybe only a couple months ago. It'll end up being a lot longer than that now. I've said that, but... Alright, let's... Well, I can put down six, but I've got a build limit that will, might not let me put down six. I think I've already got... Um... I think that one has to go there. Except I can't because I'm standing there, right? Yeah, I saw that. It was really small. I don't know what it was for, Cindy. Do you know? Was it a katana buff? Oh. Interesting.
And some quest changes, okay. How I feel about having one up at the start. I think I like the um Okay. So I want to be using the katana, speaking of katana. Expect new stuff. I think they, I looked at the roadmap. Um, it said they were wanting to have, uh, um, deal, two DLCs. Which I think is, I don't know, I think it's got potential to have when you want to put, um, extra content in. But I often find for, in games like this, I don't want to have to go back and replay the whole, of the whole game for DLC. So it can be a bit, for me, um, touch and go whether it was... Um, worth having. Oh, I also want to make sure I turn off auto-target in gameplay. platforms. Okay, I think it's on everything. Hey Wagner, how you doing man? Hmm. I think maybe I do need to learn rocket turret and put it somewhere where it can really pound in at the front. I'm gonna go do that. Let's pick these up. Especially now that I've got, um... I could actually have six out, but I think the rocket one would be better. At the cost of some CPUs, because I've got a bunch of CPUs now. Hey, B man, what's going on? Cool. There's the thing. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, Pop. Hey, my man, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Welcome, Feudal Broiler, Katizington, 
A Thorin, Wise Old Robot, Hellstar, Zeromus Gaming, Rigrism Game, The Art of Gaming, McBritches, and I, Samovar. Much love, man. And another five to Kali, who hears the who, Tenth Shadow, Nico, and Chindrala. Very, very generous spirit, man. We get a rocket turret now. Oh, more turret ammo expansion. Will be much better when we have more CPUs. I don't think we can afford that. Um, that means we'd only be able to have one turret out. Um, that would be bad. Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. Oh, it's December. I should be having the thing on. Why am I not wearing my... Um, uh, we'll wait to the, 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 the 12 days of Christmas sort of deal. I'll put the tree up later in the month. Man, I completely forgot it's December. I can't believe you guys didn't give it to me for not putting the tree up. You Grinches, you. It's Severo's birthday day? I know, he's getting a present from a friend. <laughs> Giggity. -gig -gig. I think he might be giving a present to a friend. Either way. Are you taking care of it early? Fair enough. Um, Alright, let's get a... Rocket turret in. Oh, it takes two CPUs though. I right, definitely want to focus it there. I want to try and get as much on the splash damage side of things. Alright. And then, if I can only have one more turret. I've only got one CPU. Let's go ahead and um, put it here where it can keep an eye on things in case I let stuff slip. Um, which kind of sucks because it means that um, like ammo's far away. But we'll see. The rocket turret's having the same problem as the other ones. It... It, it takes two... Like, it, it's... It's looking at the enemy going, I'm going to shoot you if you're still in my view cone in two seconds. The enemy runs out of the view cone and goes, I'm going to look at the next one. All right, we're going to lose this. So the view cone... Oh, we can't see it. The view cone here is here. And if it can only see between these two angles and the enemy's running through it, it's like, okay, I can see you here, but as soon as you go on this side, I'm not going to shoot at you anymore. So I'll aim at the next enemy, which is also just about to run out of your view cone. Well, it can decide who it's going to shoot, but I'll show you. Like, we'll... And we'll use that dead enemy as an example, right? Um, and this is terrible. Like, it needs to... It needs to be ready to shoot instantly. It's okay to have a cooldown between shots, but don't set that cooldown start. It almost it feels like... If it doesn't have a target, it hasn't started the cooldown. Like, it needs an aiming time. It's like, I'm going to aim for one second before I shoot. Right. So we go to put it down on this target here, right? It's running south. And the, the thing goes, I'm aiming at you, I'm aiming at you. Oh, you're outside of my target. I'm not going to shoot. Next enemy comes along. I'm aiming at you, I'm aiming at you. Oh, not going to shoot. Aiming, aiming, not going to shoot. So the only way you get to hit it is by going, aiming at you, aiming at you, going to shoot, shoot. And I th and that and then, yeah, and then it looks at the next one. Aiming, aiming. It's like, no, no. Be ready to shoot. Aiming shot. Cool down, cool down, cool down. Nothing's in my thing, but I can still have a cooldown when nothing's in my thing because I'm reloading. That's fine. Something's in my thing. Shoot. Yeah. Otherwise, it just keeps... Because they're running past, it's just like, yep, I'm just going to keep keep waiting. 
keep targeting the closest thing that's about to run outside of my aiming area and that way I never actually shoot at anything. Like you gotta you gotta fire. And I think that's why I had more success with the ones that were facing away from them because it feels like it it's aiming at the closest target. And right? I don't think it's aiming at the one that's closest to the um to here. It's aiming to the one closest to it. So by putting it in a position where it's aiming um uh away then whatever's closest to it is then going to still be in the view cone, right? Especially if you, you know, you get somewhere like that. The downside of that is you don't get that, like we're trying to hit things that are um, grouped up. That can be tough. Maybe like there we can get, get them. I'll have to take up the wall next to it, but that might work. It also means that the, um, it's really far away. The reloading sucks. I think also the reloading just sucks in general. Um, that's just, that's not going to change, I don't think. The reloading in this just sucks. Can you use sandbags to group them up? Maybe. Not not 100% sure how the sandbags are um, set up in this. Maybe should play around with them a little bit. So the rocket thing only has four shots. So having to put it further away also sucks. You like to put them all around the shelter so they get all spawned, get balled down, tearing them down. Missile won't tow just outside the barrier. Yeah. I think it fe it's going to feel better having them closer. Um... And then just hope I don't need to um, grab anything that runs away. think if we no the um if they're because of the number of waves if i'm the putting the the rocket at there assuming the rocket doesn't damage the antenna um, um which i think is i don't know 50 50 um either it does or it doesn't it's too late by the time then like, you're getting good value, but you're already dead. The problem with here is the rocket launcher will fail. The second I, the second they, they get towards the zombie corpse on the right, the rocket launcher will fail to shoot. Because it's too indecisive. It's just like, no, I'm going to shoot this one. Like, it'll be like, I'm going to shoot this one here. Oh, it's there. I can't shoot it now. Okay, I'll shoot this one. No, I can't shoot. No, I can't shoot. So it'll be really good at the start, but then terrible. And 
So maybe I need it at the back. This one's going to have the same deal. It's not going to shoot stuff. It's also going to be terrible for aiming. Honestly, I think the plan is just to come back after you've beaten the game. Um, and then just do these with, like, you don't need any machines. So you just have, like, 50 turrets down and you just embarrass the, the enemies. And you'll have stronger weapons. And then it won't actually be... A fun progressional thing it'll just be something that you do because it's on the checklist because it's this feels out of everything in the game this feels the most afterthought So I'm going to come back. I'm not going to um, do any more of these, which is a shame. So I like going down into the bunkers, but it is extremely terribly influential. Uh, and we've seen this in a lot of games. When mini games exist, are they going to hold up to the quality of the overall game? And very rarely is that um, do that they, they do they, if any you know because if they were if they were a good enough quality game you could just sell them as the game by itself right it's a shame I think it's got potential but whether it's worth actually spending development time on to make it better now that the game's released probably not. Um, all right, so we went down there hoping we could get through to the wall. Hey, Helsa, how you doing, man? Um, but it's blocked off. So I think the next best chance is across the train line from down here. What I'm going to do, though, is since we've got a... Um, oh, what's in here? Nice. Probably, oh, there's gas coming out of there. That's interesting. Um, what I will do... Have a quick break, make up tea, hit the little streamer room. And then, yeah, we'll fast travel down to the other... Um, link tower, run up the train line, and then get off the train line and head west. Sounds like a good plan. We could run along the train line. Uh, there's a couple buildings there. Uh, well, hmm. No. Fast travel from... from here. That way. I'm trying to think how the... Um I know with the, the previous ones with those tower defense things, I felt like um, my dude did more work than... I would have liked to have been doing in a tower defense. A lot more. 
So I don't know why any of the future ones would be different. Go here, go here. I think I, I'm definitely more disappointed in the rocket launcher than... Because it took three CPUs to craft. I could have just, instead, I could have gone back to the main base, taken down two of the, um, like, smelters, and then we could have just um, had six regular turrets. And that might have had a better opportunity. Uh, those ones we just um, looted from the, an enemy were from when the train killed it. Um, do we want to check out these houses or are we just going straight across? Probably just going... Oh, I mean, we want to get to that tower if we're going into the next zone, I guess. Killing these guys keeps them dead. Where's the zone where the radio tower hasn't had the... Oh, this whole zone and this one. The radio tower's in place, so killing anything in here, they stay dead. Thought we are in a fresh zone. I mean, now we're in a fresh zone. No, we're not. We're back in this zone. Okay. The next crossing, we're in a fresh zone. I need power attack dude. Come on. Why is my dude not doing a power attack? Maybe you can only do power attacks to targeted enemies? Um, controls, auto lock enemies. Yep, you can only do power attack if you've got a targeted enemy. Interesting. Well, now we know. Will this open the gate to up here? Ah! The gate was on that side. Nice job, Benz. Well, thank you. Alright, makes no difference. We'll, um... Next time we're in the, the cold part, we'll go down and... Um, fix that. We're going to go through and then want to get to that link tower, I guess. Oh, the katana got a double kill finally. In a non-tower defense setting. Wow, 
Wait, what? I need to, but I need to get over there. Game's like, how long have you been playing us? You know the drill. You need to go extremely out of your way. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll start sending you somewhere on the way towards the direction you want to go. Yeah, I get it. Oh man, Katana doesn't even one-shot. Wait, let's change here. Cactus salad. All right, we had our cactus smoothie. We've got it. We've got edible cactus dish now. All is hap All is good. A bit of cactus, um, some lettuce, and some tomatoes. <laughs> Spikely, yeah. <laughs> Evade chance, two point five percent. That looks like an illegal load on that van. Uh, give you an illegal load. Man, where's Severo when you need an illegal load joke? looming in, I hope you understand why I had to do what I've done. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Why did you do what you think you had to have done? And what is it you did? I think someone did what Donnie don't didn't do and shouldn't have done it. Attended the last Spice Girls concert. Yeah, but I think that's the equivalent of back then. Of what now is following um, uh, a girl on social media because you think that gives you a chance. Oh. Level 43, I can't break in through this building. I need a door then.
Wait, I can break in this building? That changes a lot of things. Specifically gives that turret a bad day. And that zombie an even worse one. I like this. Find some enemy that you're not killing yet and target it. That way you can power shot the um uh the the objects. Okay, so we're going south then, I guess? Yep. Seems like a good way of um, getting some loot. Sephro! Happy birthday! Sephro, it's your birthday. God bless you this day. Do 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 do. Sephro, it's your birthday. How you doing, man? <clears throat> Did someone give you a present? Animal friend, which lied. They didn't come up and let me pet them. You're amazing. <laughs> Giggity. Um, max HP, I guess, still. Yeah, sure, why not? More build limit? Oh, I can't make more turrets now because I ran out of CPU, so there's no point taking that one. A great few days. That's good, man. Any more crown station stuff? No. no. Now, can I get through here? Or is it blocked? Oh, there's a power point of power or something, I think they're calling it. There? We're in the new zone. Do, 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 do. Now we could go try and repair, get the train thing, or we could head over to that. I don't know. 
Well, I don't need the steel that much anymore. I'm gonna pull your save 13 frames to two, and then went bowling. Two games to one. You show off. 13 frames to two, that's a drubbing though. Well done, man. Uh oh. That's a long way, but it looks like a straight shot through, so... If we're running, it's not actually that far. It's just all the distractions. The dis the massive amount of distractions in the world make the map seem... I mean, the map's big. Let's not... Not be... You know, not try to change to deny that. But all the... All the little houses you can get distracted with definitely make the map seem bigger than what it is. Which is great. World seems full, I think is the uh Kind of hoping there'd be a campfire here somewhere. You challenged a friend to eat a 24 inch pizza in one sitting and he only got halfway. It was huge. How did you go though? I know not many will believe my story, but it is the unlikely truth. But none of it matters soon. The end is nigh. This is an automated recording from K23, the Crown Station. I don't think I've got a death orb. You have no problem taking 24 inches? Indeed. I do have a map though. Oh, I think I have one. Yeah, okay, we've got to find more. We might actually have to go back to some of the previous zones and try to um, find extra things we didn't do. <laughs> um, and that one's related to a quest. We can't do those yet. Some stuff here, maybe. <laughs> a little lunch idea. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, if we, we need to find some more of the tombs. Which is part of the thing to get down into the pyramid anyway. Oh, there's a fireplace. Campfire. I got my fishing trinket on. Pansy moron.
Okay. It is, um, have I a bonfire? We've destroyed a lot of things. I don't know if I've just, I'd say all of them. But definitely a lot. If not all, I won't want to step it up a bit. Dude, the map is, <laughs> that's huge. You destroy all things. Well, there's two tires there. Time is so bad. Well, at harvesting, it's got other good uses, I guess. All right, so I think we need to actually, <clears throat> instead of push forward, we need to push back a little bit and do some extra things in some of the zones. But it involves doing stuff we haven't discovered yet. I don't like that. I like going where I know where I'm going. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five. And the other thing is, I don't know if they're related to stuff we are able to do or unable to do. There's, but the, yeah, there's five things in Canaveral. Um, which is tough. Um, what we do need is um, the tombs. I think the tombs are the most important ones. I wonder how many of these are going to be fishing. Huh. Hedgefield. Where was Hedgefield? Oh, I can find out which one Hedgefield is. Hedgefield is... Click on the link tower, then show on map. It's the one with power station. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff down the bottom. There could be a um, a tomb there. We need a tomb because I need the blue ball, uh, the power orb, to turn off the, the death transmission on the next location. I don't really want to... Although, do we get a... Do we get blue balls from bosses? Okay, we'll go get, go get this fuel cell. Maybe we can... And if we don't get a blue ball from the boss... Or if it pushes too far in, we'll go look for a tomb. Is this place going to let us out, though? There's a gate right here. Now, I think turret bros have won this fight for us the past two times. We've died and the turrets have finished off the... Oh, oh okay, so we could traipse across to there at least as well. There could be a tomb in this zone though. Maybe that's a better one to look for. Since we're already here, then we don't have to backtrack. That's an obelisk, not a tomb. Still good that we found it. But I definitely don't want to be using the orb on it. And it looks like on the map, I think we opened the bridge from the other side. Yep. Oh, we do have confirmation as well. I should get a com I should have made a command. Memento. 
Um, Alpha 20 streamer weekend starts on Friday. I don't know if it, it's in time for um, stream or not, but at some stage. Um, yeah, we'll have the Alpha 20 weekend. There we go. Oh, you moron. I can fix that quickly. Alpha. It's like it never happened. <laughs> there you go. Never existed. So you can find out all the things that are being added to Seven Days to Die there or here when we um, when we stream it. Um, I'm going to slightly change my approach to the Seven Days runs. Um, I'm still going to... I'm not going to play them on strict permadeath, but I'm going to play them with the... Um, I know people say, oh, but I play games with the intention of not dying. You don't if you rush dump something and know that there's no penalty. Um, but, and all the challenges we do, it's going to be, the attempt is going to be, you know, no death, but, you know, we can keep, keep track and how many times did Pans die being a moron or getting wolfed or something. Um, that way we can t continue runs. I think it'll be better overall than restarting. And then when we do have deathless ones, it'll be a yay moment. I think. Um, but we'll probably just do a general run to start off with. I don't think anyone here will object to how I choose to play my game. Yeah, I think that's fair. But there, there sometimes is a different mindset in how you play. <clears throat> Getting through something without dying versus setting out to do it without dying. Um, usually um, are two different play styles. Not by a lot, but with little things. You Or you might be more... In something where you um, have specifically said this is <clears throat> permadeath, you're very likely to be a little bit more cautious in some situations. Um, and quite often it's it, it's something you don't even think about because most times I think people play with the intention of not dying because dying's not cool even if there is no penalty, right? <laughs> Cautious equals less stupid. A little bit. <clears throat> like I said, I think it's um I, I think it's mostly subconscious. Yeah, because it's in, it's intentional versus it just ended up happening. Um, it's the so Path of Exile has a gauntlet, which I think the the next one's up soon. I'm not going to be doing it, and. Because it's a race event, but it's played on hardcore, the last few have been won by someone who, obviously, who hasn't died, but who has played, oh, I need five electronics, as not reckless, but has taken the least amount of safety precautions while playing as fast as possible. Um, 
because with that with, with the sheer number of people playing someone is going to um just go as fast as possible and not die so the only way you can win is to go as fast as possible and just not die and, and know that if you die you're out and that's the mindset um yeah that needs to be intended from the start because you can't just go quickly and go let's see how we do Things you do without thinking putting blocks on doorways is a choke point. Yeah. What's up here? There's some zombies. And it's not that any of it's bad play, but sometimes if you're not setting out to with such a, a strict constraint, what's likely to happen is um, you could just be good enough to not die in the early game. Right? But you're less likely to die if you do deliberate things, like Hedwood said, putting a, a block in as a, as a choke point. Right? It's a little bit more safe. And you might be more thinking about that if you're playing a permadeath spot. You, you know, you might be always more conscious that if you, you know, you want to do that. It's very easy to forget that when the penalty is, oh well. Um, so it's part of it is, um, you know, Either changing that, you know, working on a habit to change that mindset to always um, be cautious. Because you probably should always be cautious. Or cautious enough. Oh, we got, health got low a little bit there. But at any rate, yeah, I thought I'd just put that out there. Because I think there was some good runs too that just ended because I, you know, and I probably could have done something different, but getting wolfed or bared at the, the bear was probably the worst one. That one felt bad. Stupid bear. Did I forget to put my trinket back on again? Every time. <laughs> okay, I have to work out the frequency that I want to, um... Go back in in seven days. <clears throat> There's a thing there. It's a point of power. Right, let's go. Oh, let's get the electronics. Open that gate. Then go. Could I not go north? Was something stopping me? I didn't have a look yet. Yeah, I think this is a bug. I think these are the mana things from the corpses that I killed before I turned on the deathly transmission. And so now they're not going to respawn even though I... They... Yeah. Hundred percent. Those guys hadn't died because they were south of the transmission point. So being able to collect their mana crystal without re-killing them. 
Unless that's intentional and we just never came across it because usually we would hit the deadly transmission and then hit a camp up straight away. So we, we didn't backtrack to recollect the loot. But having something drop loot when it dies makes sense. Having something drop more loot because you trigger something later, that doesn't, you know, without killing it again. Like it shouldn't, its body shouldn't be like, oh, you've unlocked this now? Here, have some more loot. If you go back and collect it all before camping. Do I have anything here to craft? Sandbags, more turret, but that comes at the cost of CPUs. Soldier helmet, cost of some titanium. It's alright. Should go um, set some titanium up to be made. Soldier outfit that'll need some more titanium. costing CPUs, so I'm not doing that one. Have I tried the transmitter? Yes. All it does is... Um, I did it in the starting zone. You have to kill all the monsters in the zone first before it'll let you do it. Um, so we did it in the starting zone. They drop two of the same item. They don't give better rewards. Um, they just give more of the same crappy reward. Um... They don't have a lot more HP, but they hit a lot harder. Where am I? Where? Over here. Um, we actually did that all three times, and I was still one-shotting the enemies at that stage, the ones that I could one-shot. Um, we've upgraded this one, so it's plus three. We've killed everything four times then. And... On the higher setting at plus three, they were dropping four of the same item. So it was kind of okay, but kind of not. We've still got 32 lumber, but I think maybe we might need some lumber. I'm going to need timber for anything? Maybe. Do I want to spend all of it? No. Alright. <laughs> Actually, how many of these do I have? A hundred? Do that one then. All right, let's not do that one then. Do the sleepy thing. I need to get five electronics. I've got to remember that. game. Fast travel back over to here. <clears throat> Open that gate. 
Then head north, I guess. Do it. I did not see that earlier. Oh, there's a radio in there. Wait, that's where my thing is. True, I haven't shown myself in public for a long time, but rest assured, I am well and capable. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Rest assured, you haven't seen me for a long time, but I'm well and capable. Yeah, that's just what big recording wants you to believe. Alright, where are we going? North. So op repair this machine and open this gate and then head back west. I can't open that one either. Mm, that's right, I remember why. Dumb pans. <laughs> so we're hoping we can get... <clears throat> I think we get a blue orb off the... Um, off the robot dude that has the fuel cell. up is this fuel cell is just over here what's going to be stopping us from getting in over here there's a campfire 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 number 63 of 103 was terrible but apparently it doesn't matter oh no they're gonna come back hands you're in a new zone you moron how do i get a, oh how do i get over there oh, let's go down this way It's 
unlikely this thing's just going to be sitting out in the open, right? gas mask. We dig there. Okay, answer is yes. Gas mask back on. Can't go that way though. We'll have to go around. Now the problem with going around means we're getting not actually near the thing that I was hoping would give us the blue cell. Unless we get to another tomb, I won't have an orb for the deadly transmission. I have a weapon equipped fans. Find tomb. Okay, that comes down from the other side. Survivor dude. Doesn't seem very promising at all out there. Let's leave those alone. <clears throat> hey Jazzy, I know hype is hype is huge on seven days. Are you excited? You didn't feel it are you did you do the streaming weekend last? Time because you're probably automatically on the list if you're in the Alpha 19. You're out of the loop? Yeah. That sucks. It'll be out on Monday. Still sucks. You can play Dismantle. Nah, that's... Well, that doesn't suck. That's good, but... You can, however... <clears throat> um... Play with someone else. I don't... Mm, I think you can stream. With someone else who's producing the content. I think you can stream that. Because there are streamers that play with friends. Um, 
And so they need to, you know, if they're streaming it and their friends are like on a Discord call, their friends need to have the Alpha 20 to, to do it. We should play seven days together. We could. Not very good though. Oh. Hate hand grenade, dude. You're not either? Oh, that's perfect then. Milk experiments are sadly at a standstill until we receive more material from the military. How's the, uh, the wedding plans going? What exactly are milk experiments anyway? Oh man, we're gonna get up to the link tower and I don't have an orb. found a good place for a nice price, but it's outside in Georgia Weathers um, bipolar. So what are you going to do? Are you going to... Are you a gambling gal? Ah, uh, yeah. Fancy. Looking for indoor? Indoor's good, because you can control the, um, <clears throat> the temperature a lot better. And the rain. Like, that's usually, yeah. I think that's, that, like, that's a huge scare, hey? Like, what if it rains? Like, what do you do? This way to the link tower has collapsed. Please use the alternate route a bit to the south. And you want to stream it. So it needs Wi-Fi. Wait, where's the one to the south? Oh, down that way. I'm looking at those cracks going, they don't look too good. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Oh, you just walked the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> How badly do I want those eggs? Not very. I don't have an orb. I need a... Dang it. <clears throat> I need a tomb. Oh, I should have gone looking for a tomb. Should never have done that obelisk. 20 hours ago, <laughs> I'd have one more orb. I mean, we could put a scanner, but we can't put a deadly transmission without a tomb. We just have to find a tomb.
Where are we? We're in Arcturus. Wow, there's not a lot of things. You reckon any of these are a tomb? Like that's where we are now. Oh, that's Arcturus there. Where are we then? We're not Borealis. We're not Everglade. Crown? Are we in Crown? No, we're not Crown, right? That's that's got to be the two. Okay, that's got to be behind the like in the the very middle where we went and got those the bosses. That was a pair of boss. <clears throat> Not some of them desert serpents crossing central furor. We're not in furor. Frost horn. The gas mask area is really cool. Yeah, except for the boss. You walk in. Um, you walk in through the doorway, there's a cutscene, the boss runs over and kills you. The next, Then you go back to where the boss is going to do that, you throw down a bunch of grenades, you walk across the room, the boss comes over and dies. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Okay. I think the I like the um the giant uh fuel cell robots the best. I think they're done they've been done really well. Hey, do you think we need to dig here? As a spicy meatball. Did that have a, a thing in it as well? Piece of titanium in there. Nice. Let's leave that guy. Because he's a problem. need to find... Okay, I'm going to go all the way around. need to find a tomb. Don't really want to search for much else. Just want a tomb. I mean... We're here, we should do this. Leave that guy alone because he's a pain. Can I break into the... We can't even break into those structures. Flipping turrets, man. Tarot's strong. Tarot's too strong. Okay, don't sit down at the campfire. I don't want anything respawning. <laughs> 